Radio host? And talk show host? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Howard Stern. He does have Howard Stern legs. I would do anything for love. Won't do that. <laughs> yeah, throw the hair back. Some days it don't come easy. Some days it don't come hard. Some days it don't come at all. These are the days that never end. Some nights I'm breathing fire. Some nights I'm carved in ice. Some nights are like nothing I've ever seen before. <laughs> will again. Give me heck. And maybe I'm crazy. Oh, it's crazy and it's true. I'm not getting much from the boys. You can save me. No one else can save me now but you. As long as the planets are turning, as long as the stars are burning, as long as your dreams are coming true, you better believe it that I would do anything for love. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Oh no, I didn't <laughs> do anything for love. Anything you've been dreaming of, but I just won't do that. No. <laughs> yes! Come on! The eagle has landed. Don't run over the person, eagle. <laughs> Ken. Make some sense out of this, man. For an eagle, it was amazing. But I don't think you're a trained singer. What is he doing? Uh-oh. He didn't like that. Eagle, where you going? Oh, he's like, hold me back, Nick. Hold me back. <laughs> I thought you sounded great. Well, you know, what's, what's great is, like, some of us uh, have big voices from out of this world, and some of us need to just find a way to put on a great performance, a great show. You came exactly. out, you were in character the whole time. Yeah. Where are you going? Be careful. It seemed like you were kind of throwing your talking voice by singing in an operatic tone. Right? And when he had a chance at the end to do something with the last note, he went, oh, no. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He did a slight crescendo. He started out sotto voce, and then he did a slight crescendo with added a little vibrato. <laughs> Listen to the singers. <laughs> Nicole, any clues that you're picking up on from this <laughs> vibrant personality? Yeah, there was like, there was an older television um, at the beginning of the package, so it made me think that it's somebody a little bit more mature. Um, <laughs> no. Whoever it is, they are hilarious. <laughs> um, I went off of the red bandana. I mean, it might be too obvious, but I was thinking, who wears red bandanas? Brett Michaels from Poison is always oh. rocking. Brett Michaels is not a bad idea. You, you know, there was the health scare, there's loss of parent, and also, you know, a rock star personality, but I'm thinking Pauly Short. Pauly recently lost, uh, lost his mother, so. True, that's, that's a good guess. I'm getting some radio vibes here because um, that clue of listens to people's stories, now it's time to tell mine, makes me feel like you've interviewed people. And yep. I kind of thought um, you had the legs of Howard Stern a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right. I was thinking that. Or I was gonna say Adam Carolla was the other radio DJ. That's not a bad guess. Ken, you look like you had something to say. I think you guys are all wrong. You do interview people for a living. You do listen to people. You're very funny. You're very witty. I've been on your show. It sounds like you're Craig Ferguson. And Craig wears like jackets like this. Like he kind of walks around Craig and he Ferguson. struts like an eagle. You're so wrong. Dude, I'm so smart. Eagle. What makes you the eagle? Like an eagle, I can see things miles away that other people may not see. Mm. Mm. Did, that, did that help you guys at all? The voice helped a little bit, yeah. It's not, not Pauly no. Shore. No, it's not <laughs> Pauly Shore. Definitely not Pauly Shore. <laughs> One thing we do know, the eagle definitely took over this stage. I can't control him. The eagle reminds me a lot like my comedy. He's trying too hard. 
<laughs> Our panel thought one of these celebrities might be under the eagle mask.